In the ever-evolving world of stocks and shares, where billionaires like Warren Buffett lead the dance of investments, a surprising trend has emerged that's turning heads and stirring up the market. Welcome back to Investify, your go-to channel for the most insightful investment analysis. Today, we're delving deep into the seismic shift that has taken the financial world by storm. Warren Buffett, the Oracle of Omaha, a name synonymous with astute investing and a legend in the world of finance. Known for his steadfast approach of long-term buy-and-hold strategies, Buffett has always been the embodiment of investment patience and wisdom. However, the third quarter of 2023 brought a startling revelation. In his latest 13F filing, Buffett did something that few could have predicted. He sold and sold big. The report unveiled a sell-off spree, with a staggering 13 stocks bid farewell, seven of which saw a complete divestment. This move has left the financial community in a whirlwind of speculation. What could prompt such a decision from a titan who's built an empire on holding stocks through thick and thin? To understand the magnitude of this shift, let's rewind a bit. Buffett's investment journey is nothing short of legendary. Each move he made was a market event, his decisions often setting the tone for investors globally. His philosophy? Hold on to stocks with the same certainty and calm as one would hold a piece of valuable farmland, unwavering even in turbulent times. But here we are, in the third quarter of 2023, witnessing a different narrative. Buffett, a net seller? The same man who advised investors to be fearful when others are greedy, and greedy when others are fearful, is now parting ways with a significant portion of his portfolio. This pivot in strategy is rousing a myriad of questions and theories among investors and analysts alike. What does this mean for the market? For individual investors? And most importantly, what drove Warren Buffett, the sage of investing, to make such a drastic change in his approach? Stay tuned as we unravel the mysteries behind this unprecedented move. Let's dive into the specifics of Buffett's latest sell-off. Among the stocks he parted ways with, four stand out due to their prominence and the size of the investments. First, Procter & Amp Gamble, a household name and a long-standing player in Buffett's portfolio. In a surprising turn, 35,400 shares were sold, valued at an impressive $47 million. This decision marked a significant shift considering the strong history between Buffett and this consumer goods giant. Next, Johnson & Johnson. Known for its deep roots in the healthcare sector, Buffett's Berkshire Hathaway offloaded approximately 327,000 shares, totaling around $54 million. A tenure dating back years, this move raises questions about Buffett's confidence in the healthcare conglomerate. Then comes UPS, a titan in global shipping and logistics. A substantial 59.4 million shares, worth a whopping $105 million, were let go. This decision to sever ties with a company entrenched in the backbone of global commerce is particularly intriguing. And finally, Mandela's International, the snack food powerhouse, saw its 578,000 shares, valued at $42 million, completely wiped from Buffett's portfolio. A bold move given the company's diverse and iconic brand portfolio. But what underpins these decisions? To understand, we need to delve into Buffett's investment philosophy, deeply influenced by his mentor, Benjamin Graham. Graham's teachings, focusing on intrinsic value, have long been the guiding force behind Buffett's strategies. Buffett's approach hinges on evaluating the future cash flows and risk-adjusted returns of investments. He looks at stocks through the lens of their intrinsic value, essentially, what they're truly worth based on their future earnings potential. A crucial factor in this analysis is the role of interest rates. As rates rise, so do yields on bonds, making them more attractive compared to stocks. This shift in the financial landscape seems to have played a significant role in Buffett's recent moves. When bond yields start outperforming stock dividends, the investment scales tip, it appears that Buffett, adhering to this logic, found bonds to be a more favorable option, leading to the divestment from these high-profile stocks. Understanding Warren Buffett's pivot requires a closer look at the comparative dynamics of stocks and bonds. 
Recently, there's been a noticeable shift in Buffett's portfolio, favoring bonds over stocks. This change speaks volumes about the current investment landscape. Here's where it gets interesting. As we analyze dividend yields against bond yields, a clear picture emerges. In an environment where bond yields are climbing, stock dividends might lose their shine. For an investor like Buffett, who weighs every decision on a risk-reward scale, this shift towards bonds signals a strategic repositioning. It seems that the safety and reliability of bonds, at this point, outweigh the potential upsides of certain stocks. Now, let's delve into some more stocks Buffett decided to let go of, each for unique reasons. First up, General Motors. A significant 22 million shares, valued at a staggering $850 million, were sold. This move is intriguing, especially considering Buffett's known strategy of buying stocks on sale. It suggests a dual concern, a lack of confidence in GM's future strategies, particularly in electric vehicles, and a reaction to a notable 18% drop in share price. Then, there's Activision Blizzard. Just before its acquisition by Microsoft, Berkshire Hathaway unloaded around 14.5 million shares. This strategic sell-off, likely capitalizing on market price discrepancies, is a testament to Buffett's ability to optimize gains from market opportunities. And Selenese Corporation, a chemical giant, saw its entire position, valued at approximately $620 million, sold off from Buffett's portfolio. This decision aligns with securing profits when market conditions are favorable, a principle that Buffett has adhered to consistently. Each of these sales, driven by distinct motives, reveals the multifaceted nature of Buffett's investment strategy. It's not just about the rise in bond yields, it's also about cutting losses and securing potential profits. Buffett's decisions reflect a deep understanding of market dynamics and an unerring ability to adapt to changing investment landscapes. If you're finding this deep dive into Buffett's investment strategies insightful, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Stay with us on Investify for more financial insights that can help shape your investment journey. Amidst the whirlwind of sales, there was a notable addition to Buffett's portfolio in the third quarter of 2023. The standout purchase? Sirius XM. Berkshire Hathaway acquired a significant 9.7 million shares, valued at around $44 million. This move shines a light on Buffett's ongoing strategy and his ability to spot potential in diverse sectors. Buffett's investment decisions have always had a ripple effect on the market, often referred to as the Buffett effect. The mere mention of his involvement can significantly impact a stock's performance, and Sirius XM was no exception. This acquisition illustrates how Buffett's choices continue to influence stock market dynamics, underscoring his status as one of the most watched and influential investors in the world. As we conclude, let's reflect on the key takeaways from Buffett's Q3 2023 investment moves. This period marked a shift in his long-standing strategy, with a notable pivot towards bonds and a selective approach in stock holdings. The sales of Procter & Gamble, Johnson & Johnson, UPS, Mandela's International, General Motors, Activision Blizzard, and Selenese Corporation, each driven by a blend of market trends and strategic foresight, have reshaped his investment landscape. These moves offer profound insights into Buffett's strategic thinking and its implications for investors worldwide. They highlight a need for adaptability, the importance of understanding market dynamics, and the value of balancing risk with potential returns. As investors, we can learn much from Buffett's approach. The need to stay informed, remain flexible, and be ever conscious of the evolving financial environment. And that's a wrap on our deep dive into Warren Buffett's Q3 2023 investment maneuvers. Whether you're a seasoned investor or just starting out, there's always something to learn from the Oracle of Omaha. We hope this analysis has given you valuable insights into the world of investing. If you've enjoyed this exploration into Buffett's investment strategies, please hit that like button and subscribe to Investify for more content that keeps you ahead in the financial game. Your support helps us bring more in-depth analysis and investment insights. Until next time, keep investing wisely.